And then my great grandpa moved to Missouri where he joined up with the Dalton brothers. He rode with them and they robbed trains, and banks, and stagecoaches. The Rangers were even gonna pay a thousand dollar reward to get him, dead or alive. He was pretty bad. Nobody ever messed with him. Thank you. Well, uh, Billy, what happened to your great-grandfather? Well, um, he died, died in jail. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, well, uh, well, thank you, Billy. That was, that was very nice. Stephen, what do you have to share from your family heritage? <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather was an officer in the Army during World War II in the infantry in France. They were in some pretty bad battles, and he carried this Bible with him always. Ooh, a Bible! <laughs> Billy? Sorry, Stephen, go on. Well, one time, he was stuck with his men in some foxholes for eight days. They didn't have any food or ammunition for their guns. My grandfather thought he would die there, and he wrote a note to my father in this Bible. Would you like to read the note, Stephen? Okay. It says, my men have been very brave as they continue to fight for liberty. The war has taken its toll on our company. I do not know if I will ever see my family again, but I want you to know I have fought the good fight and although the enemy surrounds me, I am not afraid for the Lord is with me. I have come to believe that anything worth living for really is worth dying for. My grandfather gave me this Bible on my last birthday. He told me that no matter what I do, this Bible will always help me like it helped him. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that is enough, <laughs> Billy. All right, wait, class, I did not dismiss you. Don't forget your history lesson for tomorrow. You need to read pages 16 through 22. Stephen? That was a very nice presentation. A nice job, Bible very boy. Nice <laughs> Billy, Derek, and Scott, I want to see you. Better not get us in trouble, Stevie. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, guys. Front and center. One in school suspension for you boy. for three boy. days. Three days boy. for you. Come on, Billy. Did your great grandpa really rob a bank with the Dawson gang? Yeah, my dad even had his oh. gun. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, Just cool. Hey, look, hey, look, Bible boy. Hey, look, Bible boy. Miss Miller Go really home. likes you, huh? You think you're better than us, don't you? Oh, I don't think yeah, that. You think you're better than everybody. I don't really. You know, you guys in trouble, Bible boy. You have in school suspension for three days. I'm sorry. Now you're in trouble, Stevie. Oh, Let me see that Bible. Give it to him. Hey, no, no, wait, 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 wait. What are you gonna do now, Bible boy? You're gonna pay for this. Yeah, get him. He thinks his Bible's so cool. Let's see how your Bible helps you now. I don't care about this Bible. I'm sorry I got you guys in trouble, really. I didn't mean to. I, I liked your story about your great grandpa. He was cool. Cooler than that old Bible. I didn't mean to, please. Come on, guys, let's go. Yeah, don't want to make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, what are you doing? Just be quiet. What about Grandpa's Bible? Be quiet, okay? You don't understand anything. So, Stephen, how did your presentation go today with your grandpa's Bible? It was okay. Well, why don't you tell me about it? It's nothing, really. Well, what did the teacher say, Stephen? She didn't say much. Some of the kids made fun of me. What do you mean they made fun of you? Billy, Matt, and those other guys are such dweebs. Katie. Some of the kids thought it was stupid I brought a Bible to school. You know, that was a very special Bible of your grandfather's. I know. I just wish I wouldn't have brought it. I shouldn't have taken Grandpa's Bible. I should have just taken his medals. Steven. Look, I'm sorry, but I've got a lot of homework to do. Steven, catch. What's this for? Come here, sit down. I want to tell you something. Remember how I told you 
You were named after someone very special in the Bible. Mm-hmm. His name, just like yours, is Stephen. And he was the very first martyr. What's a martyr? Hang on, I'll show you. It's all right here. A martyr is someone who is persecuted for their faith and dies. Here we go, right here in Acts. The Jewish leaders were infuriated by Stephen's accusations and they shook their fists in rage. So they persuaded some men to lie about Stephen saying, we heard him blasphemy Moses. You know, almost nobody had an English Bible back then. Almost no one? That's right. Until a man named William Tyndale began translating the Bible into English. Wow. Yeah, he had a good friend, Henry Phillips. At least he thought he was a good friend. He betrayed him and he was imprisoned for 18 months. Hmm. But even while he was in prison, he continued his work. He the continued to translate. The Nagar was destroyed because they thought a Christian tore the Quran and threw it into a mosque. Well, what's a Quran? <laughs> it's a Muslim holy book, but it's getting pretty late. You need to get some sleep. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. I love you, Stephen. Good night. Love you too. just like yours. My name is Stephen. Hey, you're the guy my dad told me about. The first martyr? Yes. But I don't understand. Why were they throwing rocks at you? Why were they throwing rocks at me? Because we follow Christ. But that's not fair. I could take you on a journey and show you why they persecute us. But I'm not sure you're ready. No, please, show me what happens. It could be dangerous. Are you sure you want to go? Uh, yes. 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 Hey, hey, take this and go serve them. Jesus is waiting. Go. 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 There were so many hungry people. How did just a little bit of food feed them all? I couldn't believe how many baskets full of food we picked up. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. You know, Matthew said there were over 5,000 people there. And I had no idea where all the food was going to come from to feed so many hungry people. Lord, we heard that the Pharisees are plotting against you. I will be persecuted. And so will you and all those who follow me. But I have prayed that you would remain faithful. Though some will deny me. No, no. Lord, I will never deny you. And what about you? Will you deny me? Where am I? We're in Rome, under the Colosseum. Hey, my dad told me about the Colosseum. Isn't this where Christians were thrown in with hungry lions? Yes, Stephen. You see that family over there? Yeah. They're Christians, waiting to be taken. So you mean they're going to... Yes. But I learned in Sunday school, when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, the angels protected him. Won't the angels protect these Christians? Although God chose to spare some, others will have to die. Stephen, what really matters, though, is that these Christians are willing to give up their life for Jesus. Ah. 
come on, get up. You're better fighters than the last ones. Come with me. The people are waiting. The lions are waiting. Why are they doing this? Remember when Jesus said that whoever followed him would be persecuted? Yeah. When Jesus died and went back to heaven, many people believed in him until there were thousands of Christians. But then the Roman Emperor Nero became jealous and angry because they were worshiping Jesus and not him. Oh. So, what did he do? One day there was a great fire in Rome that almost destroyed the city. And Nero saw this as an opportunity to get rid of the Christians, so he blamed them for starting the fire. But they didn't do it, did they? No. But remember how Billy and his friends blamed you for getting detention? Yeah. Well, it didn't matter whether or not it was your fault that they got into trouble. They were just looking for a reason to persecute you. All right, you. Let's go. Come on, you're next. Wait. Please, allow us to pray. You foolish Christians, don't you know? Just deny it, Jesus, and bow down to the emperor. You could go free. Forgive the emperor and those who have gathered here today. Let our lives be Let's a go. public witness oh, of our commitment now. and service to Wake you. Up. You don't really want to do this, do you? It's not too late. Deny Jesus and save yourself. I can't. I can't deny Jesus. Go ahead, put some more coal on the fire. What's the matter? What are you doing? Do you see that book on the shelf? Get it for me. This one? Yes. Now open it up and read it. I can't. Why? These words, they don't make any sense to me. That's right. Now, read this one. Then the soldiers took Jesus into the hall, gathered the whole multitude over him, stripped him of his clothes, and put a purple robe upon him. This sounds like the Bible. Yes, son, it is the Bible. But until now, the common person in England could never read it. Why not? Because it was only printed in Latin and Greek. And like yourself, they did not understand these languages. But now I have translated the, the New Testament into English, and I am now working on the Old Testament. Why didn't anyone have an English Bible with you? Oh, because the leaders of the church believe that Latin is a holy language and that to translate God's word into any other would be heresy. He heresy? Yes, they believe that it would no longer be the Holy Bible. But the Bible is not, is not words written on paper. It is, it is the truth that, that lives in men's hearts. Every person, whether educated or not, should be able to learn for themselves about Jesus Christ. That is why I must continue my translation, even if the threats continue. The threats? Who is it? It's Henry. It's Henry Phillips. Wait, Mr. Tindall, my In dad In a moment, I must get the door. No, I have to tell you. Henry, my dear friend, please, please come in. Thank you, thank you. How are your new translations coming? Oh, day and night I have not rested. Look, I have almost completed the Old Testament. Is the church still buying your New Testaments? Yes, they buy them, but, but only to burn them. Well, 
it's too bad. It is bad, but God is good. For every Bible they buy, I can print even more Bibles to distribute secretly later. What brings you here? I've found some more people interested in your Bible. Really? Yes, and we need to go and see them. Please come with me now. Now? I have so much work to do. Wait with me and we'll go together in the morning. No, we need to go now. All right, Henry, if you insist. William Tyndale? Yes. By order of the King of England, you are under arrest. Come with us. How did you know we were here? Henry, what's going on here? Henry, you have betrayed me. What's going to happen to Mr. Tyndale? They're taking him to prison, Stephen. He broke the laws of England. But he was just copying the Bible in English. He didn't do anything wrong. You remember what Mr. Tyndale told you? That the Bible in any language other than Latin was not allowed. Well, yes, but he just wanted everyone to have the Bible in a language they could understand. And that's what the church leaders feared the most. Why? Because if they could keep the people uneducated, they could control them. But it wouldn't take long for the people to figure that out if they could read the Bible for themselves. So you mean they were out to get him all alone? That's right. But what about Henry Phillips? Why did he betray him? My dad told me they were friends. They were. Just like the families in the Colosseum, Henry Phillips had a choice. He chose to save himself, even though he would lose his friend. William Tyndale is guilty of the crime of heresy for desecrating the Holy Scripture. He is condemned to die by strangulation and then to be burned. Always keep the word of God in your heart wherever you go, and it will guide you. Does the condemned have any last words? Lord, open the king's eyes to the truth of your word. Within one year, Mr. Tyndale's prayer was answered. <laughs> a man by the name of Coverdale used Tyndale's work to finish the Bible. And the king gave his permission to print and distribute the entire Bible in English. Wow. You know, Stephen, what many people don't realize is that William Tyndale had to die so that you and even your grandfather could have their own Bible in their own language. Throughout history, many Christians have had to suffer greatly for owning one of these books. Quick, quick, get these Bibles together, hurry. Hurry, they're almost here. Police is, police is coming door to door searching for Bibles. If they find them, they take them and they burn them. Kreutwehr, Galicia. We need your help. Go quickly to Simon's house. You remember what it was I showed you. You yeah. remember? Yeah, I remember. Take them, give it to him. He knows. He knows what it is. Wait. 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 When you come back, and we are not here, it means the police might take us away. You might not see us for a while. Go to Aunt Lydia's house. Okay. But remember. Remember what I told you. Jesus is always with you. Just go. Bibles. The secret police, you know, the KGB. They hate us Christians. They want everyone in Russia to be communist. Shh. Let's go. Let's go. But why? They said there is no God, and Christianity is only stupid superstition. They won't allow us to worship together, so we have to meet secretly in houses or in the woods. But aren't you afraid? Yeah, we're all afraid. My uncle, 
He's a pastor. They arrested him five years ago and we still haven't heard from him. My dad said we have to make a choice between communism or the Bible. We couldn't choose both. But we would rather go to prison than deny. Oh no! Papa! Come on, run! Get it, Jane! Myra! What is happening? Myra! What is happening? Why? Quick, come in here! What's going on? Hurry! My house is on fire! My house is on fire! Where did that infidel go? We'll teach him not to blaspheme Muhammad. Kadel! Who are they looking for? They're looking for my father! He was in town today when somebody tore the Quran and threw it in the mosque while the Muslims were praying. Why are they after your father? They blamed it on him. They say he tore the Quran and threw it in the mosque. And now the Muslims want revenge. But my father didn't do it. So what will happen if they catch him? Come on, the house is on fire. What's going to happen to his father? Why did they beat him? Is he going to die? I know this has been a difficult journey for you, Stephen. Now you know that Christians throughout history, and even today, often have to choose to stand up for Jesus or deny him. Many times that choice is not easy. Sometimes, may even cost them their life here on earth. But we have a much greater reward in heaven. And as Jesus promised, if you put your faith in him, he will never leave you or forsake you. No, wait, please don't leave me. Good morning. Good morning. Is 
everybody ready for the English quiz today? All right. All right. All right. Oh, by the way, I found this Bible near the school the other day. Does anyone know whose it is? Yeah. I know whose it is. It's mine. Of his embrace, there will be joy. 